the fragile ceasefire in eastern Ukraine is gradually becoming more sustainable. A major prisoner swap involving more than a hundred Ukrainian troops and dozens of pro-Russian separatists was carried out on Saturday west of Luhansk. The exchange was made in according to the recent Minsk agreement, yet the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe voiced its concern over other Minsk articles such as withdrawal of heavy weapons. And we request that we be given this baseline information. Where are the weapons now? Which routes are taken to withdraw them? And where they will be stored? Meanwhile, the U.S. threatens further economic sanctions on Russia if its aggression in the region continues. However, no clear commitment over U.S.'s future military aid to Ukraine was made. With respect to lethal weapons, uh, we made it very, very clear that uh, that is a discussion that is taking place in uh, Washington, both in the Congress as well as in the administration. Uh, no decision has been made by the president at this point in time. And... Uh, I think uh, we have to see what happens in the next few days. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko paid tribute on Saturday to the victims of the 2014 uprising, which sparked the ongoing conflict. Effective and clear coordination is leading to a substantial decrease in the amount of shelling, and Ukrainian servicemen have not died in the anti-terrorist operation zone for three days already. Despite Poroshenko's optimism, the implementation of all 12 Minsk Agreement articles is far from secured as Russia continues to cast its shadow over eastern Ukraine fighting.